Today we're going to be looking at some combustion reactions. Remember, don't try any of these at home. Combustion chemistry can be dangerous. Okay, it's recording. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you some different examples of combustion and what I want you to do is compare them. Which one gives out the most energy? Brightest, darkest? Oh. Okay, now what I want you guys to observe is observe the different observe the kind of flame that you're seeing. Is it bright? Does it seem like it's does it seem like it burns with a lot of heat? Does it seem like it burns with a lot of enthusiasm? Is it a very efficient fire? What's the best way to, it, to improve the efficiency of a fire? It would smell. Beat it. How long it lasts? No, improving the efficiency. What can I do to improve the efficiency of a fire? Keep it inside something. What can I? What can I add to it? Oxygen. Ooh, there's the word. Do that again. Hey guys, the question, the question now is not what was in it when I started, but what's in it now? Water. You are absolutely correct. Oh, I'm so good. You are so good. Water. Hydrocarbons, when you combust a hydrocarbon, which is anything made of carbon hydrogen, what do you get when you, when you set hydrocarbons on fire? Water. And what else? Oxygen. Yeah. Look on your, look on your sheets. Like carbon. Combustion. Magnesium. No, not that one. Look at the other two. Carbon dioxide. Okay, you guys have got a pretty good idea of what alcohol looks like when it burns efficiently and not so efficiently, right? Not so efficiently, again, yeah, barely burns. Efficiently, when you mix it, vaporize it good, burns pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> now we're going to look at a little better fuel than alcohol. Are you joking? Oh! That was cool. Do that again. Three, two, one. Okay, what you're looking at right now is a different fuel burning. So what you want to do, what you want to do is tell me, compare that to the alcohol. Compare that to what you saw a while ago with the alcohol on the table. Was it? It was short and blue. Okay, the blue flame is actually the coolest flame. It lets off the least. It leaves off the least amount of uh, amount of uh, <laughs> evidence. Yeah, heat. We're not going to do kerosene next. But I need you. I need you to pay attention. In fact, actually, I need you to not pay attention. Let me explain what I mean. Do not look at the combustion directly for a long time. I've done that before. And this is very important. Why? Because this will hurt your eyes. Okay. Hey, listen to me. When I say that, let me say, let me say that again. We don't look directly at the combustion while it's happening. I love this. Okay. Oh, is it that wire that you're looking at? No, this is just magnesium. And we have some glasses. Can we get it? What's that? We have some glasses. <laughs> now I'm forced to look at it. Okay, light person. What I'm going to do, hey guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this and I'm going to get it ignited and I'm going to set it inside the water here. What is that? That's is it going to burn in the water? Now, what exactly? see? It oh, will. magnesium ribbon. It will because magnesium burns. All right, light person, go ahead and hit it. Oh, oh. Ow! Oops. Oh, it's blue! Dude, I can't see! I can see it. It's in the water. It's in the water. Just that it's very bright. Alright, light person, hit it. That is in the water. What is the what is the last question asked you? What is the common element involved in oxygen? What do you gotta have oxygen? What? Gotta have oxygen. What happens if you if you put a if you put a fire in a jar and then you cover the jar? Yeah. No oxygen, right? Okay. All right. Let's see if we can get our. Uh, 
Let's see if we can get our jitter to go again. <laughs> Wasn't as good as last time. Wasn't as good as last time? Last time it counts. <laughs> I thought that was pretty good.